This is the very first time we've ever bought hay directly from a farmer. We've always just gone to feed stores. So it's kind of kind of cool to see where the hay actually comes from. Yeah, we grow everything right here. Pay it once a year. Nice. We'll probably be coming back. Right on. Have a good one. This time of year, our goat pen is just a big muddy mess. It doesn't seem to matter how much bark chips I put in there. It really just doesn't make a difference. It's just going to be a, a gushy, gooey mess no matter what I do. They do have that front porch in front of their shelter that they can stand on and some log rounds. The log rounds we do have in there, the boy goats like to tip over sometimes, so they're not quite as functional. Right behind me, I've got the last plank from that old raised bed that we recently took apart and rebuilt. Let's see if the goats like standing on this as well. I think they like it. At least it's something new for them to play on. Hello. Hello, goodies. We're expecting cold weather. Cold enough that I'm going to have to disconnect the hoses and insulate the hose bibs. Watering chores are a whole lot easier with the hose. I'm in for a period of time where I'll just have to carry back and forth buckets of water to do this. Sorry, chickens. <laughs> It is nice to have these frost-free yard hydrants to fill the buckets. Before this, you can imagine how happy Wendy was to have me dragging dirty buckets in and out of the house all the time. It's been a day for running errands. I just picked up the chipper shredder from the shop. My next errand is kind of exciting. I'm gonna be heading out to a local farm 
to pick up hay for our goats. We've got this space configured for hay storage right now. There's a lot more room for hay than we used to have, so we're going to stock up. Buying hay directly from a local farmer is going to save us quite a bit of money. Nothing against Wilco. They have excellent service, and it's nice to always have them there for things that we need. But it will be nice to pay about half of what we were paying for hay and to really have enough on hand that we don't have to always worry about running out. You want to come with me to get the hay? It should be a nice country drive for at least part of the way. Well, I didn't think we'd be able to fit 12 bales in there at once, but we did. So that's great. I don't have to make two trips. All right, so this is Brock. He's not the owner, but he's great friends with the owner. Yeah, how you doing? Anyways, like I said, this is the very first time we've ever bought hay directly from a farmer. We've always just gone to feed stores. So it's kind of, kind of cool to see where the hay actually comes from. Yeah, we grow everything right here, pay it once a year. Nice, we'll probably be coming back. Right on, have a good one. That farm is pretty convenient. It's only about 15 minutes away. The only drawback is I'll have to make an appointment in advance to have somebody meet me there anytime that I need to buy hay. Today, it just worked out. Brock happened to be in the area and available the same day that I texted. Yes. Mm. Eating 
time is pretty soon. Yeah, feeding time is pretty soon. Thank you, Brock, for taking the time to say hello to everybody. I think in the future, I'll probably stick with just 10 bales rather than 12. We've got a couple of overflow bales over here. My plan is to keep the cheaper stuff for our boy goats on this side and the more expensive alfalfa on that side for the girls. Once these bales are eaten down, then we'll probably get more alfalfa bales to pile that side up too. It's not too cold for goats. You're doing just fine out here. <laughs> 